Ladies and gents, TV here with some more Pokemon Emerald. Last episode, we caught the legendary Pokemon Kyogre. This episode, here we are in the Weather Institute, so we're going to try to find the location of the drought that we couldn't, or that we failed to find in, uh, in the last episode, because originally there was a drought. And Route 118, that is actually south of this route, so um, I will see you guys there in just a few seconds. Okay, I'm here in Route 118, and the entrance to the cave that I'm looking for is probably here somewhere. It's probably on the other side of the route. But, uh, yep, this is gonna be where the other thing- No. It's probably, like, right up here. Yes, here it is. Now, this place here is the Terra Cave, and you know what? I still have my Salamence in my party just because, so I might as well give them some more- Time in the limelight, I guess. Because paralysis is a thing that it can do. But yep, here in the Terra Cave, I don't know why it's showing us the name of the place again, we can find Groudon. And like before, I recommend saving. Because saving is a thing. So yep. Let's do this. Is he blinking? And we have the legendary Pokemon Groudon. Groudon? Uh, it's not as good as Kyogre. I mean, it'll bring forth a drought, which will increase the power of fire type moves because it's sun. But it's more of a physical attacker, so it can't really make use of fire blast or any other fire type attacks. I mean, it can make use of like fire punch in like the fourth generation on because that's a physical attack. Ooh, yeah. But yeah, Groudon has Fire Blast, it has Fissure, which, which is a one-hit KO move, it has Solar Beam and Rest. Solar Beam also won't be doing that much because it goes off Groudon's lower special attack stat, but it does have the benefit of not needing to charge, so that is a thing. But yeah, Groudon as a Pokemon, it's pretty nice, I mean, it's not as good as Kyogre, but it's still a pretty handy Pokemon to have, especially on weather-based teams, because it's just good for that in general, but also it, it is a decent Pokemon in its own right. I mean, it's not as good as what it could be in the remakes, where it gets the Primal Reversion, where it can become Primal Groudon, but Groudon itself is still pretty nice. Uh, I can't paralyze it here, but um, yeah, Groudon, it's pretty cool. Not as good as Kyogre, like I've said like twice already. But it's still pretty handy. It, it does learn some pretty nice moves. It does get Stab off Earthquake because it's a Ground-type Pokemon. Just stuff like that makes it pretty handy. And Drought would put an end to Kyogre's Drizzle. So that gives you an inherent advantage against that and just Water-type moves in general. But uh, yeah, Groudon, definitely recommend using it. But you can't use it in the Battle Frontier just like Kyogre and Rayquaza. Okay, did not catch it there. It's wasting all of its fissures here. So yeah, Groudon, pretty nice. Cool Pokemon, but not as good as it could be. I mean, it, it only gets better with each generation, and am I going to? I caught it! Okay, then. Oh, okay, then. Was not expecting to catch it that soon. Groudon is appeared in mythology as the creator of the land. It sleeps in magma underground and is said to make volcanoes awake on a erupt on awakening. No, whenever volcanoes erupt, that's when an Entei is born. And whenever Entei roars, it makes volcanoes erupt. So, Entei effectively reproduces by roaring. Which is weird. But uh, yeah, I was expecting this to go by a lot longer than... Five, almost six minutes. Because I was going to talk about the Birth Island event since the last episode I talked about the Naval Rock event. In a, in Emerald, also in Fire and Leaf Green, you can get an event item through Mystery Gift called the Aurora Ticket, which allows you to take the ferry over to Birth Island. Birth Island, it's just one small triangular shaped island with a black triangle in the middle. If you interact with it, it'll move to another part of the map and you need to get to it in the lowest number of steps possible. And you keep on doing that, and the triangle will move 
You keep on doing that until it gets all the way back to the middle and it becomes like a bright red triangle. And then you can encounter Deoxys. Deoxys is an interesting Pokemon because it changes forms depending on which third generation game you're playing. In later generations, you can freely change its form. But Deoxys, in Emerald, it gets the new speed form, which wasn't in uh, Ruby or Sapphire or Fire and Leaf Green's code. As opposed to in Ruby and Sapphire, it'd just be the normal form. And in uh, Fire Red, it'd be the attack form. In D Leaf Green, it'd be the defense form. Deoxys itself is pretty interesting in that regard. I mean, normal form, it's still pretty fail frail. It's not as frail as the attack form, but it's pretty much a weaker version of the attack form. The attack form, very, 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 very frail. Like, just blow on it and it will faint. But it's very fast and it hits really, really hard. Has the highest attack and special attack in the game. At least as far as this generation goes. Defense form, very good defensively and very good as a support Pokemon. Speed form is very fast and can also be good for support because it can set up light screen or reflect or spikes or stuff like that. I think it can learn spikes. I think defense form can learn spikes. But yeah. And eh, defense form Deoxys also hits decently hard, but not as hard as normal or attack form. But Deoxys itself is pretty interesting, and like with the other Pokemon, you can't use it in the Battle Frontier, but still, it's a pretty interesting Pokemon. That pretty much covers that event. Let's take a look at Groudon here. Rash nature, and eh, not the best, but not the worst. But yeah. Now we caught Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all the legendary Pokemon, except for the ones that I can't catch. There is one more event that I do want to talk about, but I'll save that for the next episode, which is also the finale. <laughs> wow, holy crap. But yeah, like we're pretty much done with Emerald, except for one last thing that I want to do. So yeah, this is... Our PC boxes, and I'm actually, sh I don't remember if I showed it off before, but this is the special box wallpaper that I unlocked in Rustboro City, which is of Groudon and Kyogre. But, uh, yeah, that's, nah, that's pretty much it. Like, we've done pretty much everything there is to do in this Let's Play besides event stuff, which I can't do, and... I will be talking about the last event, which is Emerald Exclusive in the finale, but for now... Dang, I, I was expecting this video to be longer. I was expecting there to be, like, a lot of trouble catching Groudon, but no, I caught it in my first attempt. I mean, how many ult Three Ultra Balls. Nice. Nice. But, uh, yeah, this episode is pretty much over, and next episode... I guess I'll um, end it off here. So, see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Emerald. Later. Seriously, holy crap. That was that was a good Groudon catch. Holy crap. Like, that took less time than I was expecting. <laughs> Yay. Later.